This crucial match being played between St. Patrick's School and Sopin School. The final match. St. Patrick's School need only two runs to win this match from the last ball. Look at that. Carbon catch by Sarta. And Sopin School wins the match. Very good captainship, Ravi. You made some very good decisions. Thank you, ma'am. Great fielding and bowling, boys. The credit goes to all of you for playing with such tremendous skill and dedication. Well done, boys. And especially you, Ravi. I'm just a part of this great team, ma'am. It's celebration time! Sartaj, that was great. Thanks, buddy. And that last minute change in that bowling order, that just clinched it. I didn't expect this from you, Ravi. I wanted you to bowl the last over, but you didn't let me. I thought we were good friends. Listen, Ache, you're my good friend, but when the matter is of school prestige, I can't be partial. I have to think as a captain, I have to think what's best for the team to win the match. And anyway, what does this have to do with a friendship? No, more serious talks, yeah. Let's party. Ravi, get up. You're getting late. Get up. Oh my God! This has never happened to me before. How come I didn't hear the alarm? Now there's no time to study. I'm so late. My life is finished.
Hey Ravi, what are you studying at the last minute? Hey dude, what's the matter? You are not your usual self today. Is something wrong? Of course something is wrong. Just forgot we had this stupid history test and now at the last moment I am unable to understand anything. I don't know what to do. Have you prepared? Are, I am always prepared. Do you want to prepare the way I do? Full marks guaranteed. Dude, I have told you I have not prepared and now at the 11th hour, there is no time to. Chill bro, just do what I say and see the result. What? When ma'am is writing questions on the book, all you need to do is slightly take out the book and open it on the lap. Just underneath the desk. You have to be a little careful by flipping the pages. That's all. Full marks guaranteed. What are you saying? That's like cheating. Can you suggest me that? Do you have any other option? But And do you want your grades to go down for this stupid test? Think about it. This is the first and last time I'll do anything like this, I promise. Cheating? How could I? It was cheating. Hey buddy. How could I do it? Don't worry. Just chill. It was your first time. You'll get used to it. School was so much fun earlier. Today I will teach you about seed germination. That is how a seed grows into a new plant. All of you are aware the outer covering oh. of the seed that is called seed coat. That is hard one. Then the food inside the seed that is used by the baby plant cheated. to grow. I In the presence cheated. of sunlight. The green leaves, the first green leaves which appears, they take uh, that sun chlorophyll is there inside the leaves. What is wrong with me? Why am I making wrong decisions?
there's definitely something wrong with Ravi. I'm so glad you're back from your tour. Something is wrong with Ravi. He hasn't been his usual self for the past couple of days. Why? What happened? He seems to be upset about something. Hmm. Why don't you talk to him? He confides in you more. Looks up to you for guidance also. Maybe he'll tell you his problem. Sure, I'll talk to him when we go for a walk. Dad? Yeah, Ravi? Can I talk to you about something uh, I have been upset about these days? Sure, why not, Ravi? Dad, I'm ashamed of what I have done. Why? What did you do? Please don't scold me, Dad. I'm feeling very guilty about it already. And I don't know how to get out of this mess. Oh, trust me, son. I've been in difficult spots myself many a times. And I'm sure we can get you out of this one. I had this history test and I totally forgot to prepare because of my match. And I didn't want to lose marks. So no friend suggestion. Yeah, go ahead. I'm listening. I... I cheated. How could I? What do I do now? I'm feeling terrible ever since. I made a big blunder and my conscience is killing me. Haven't told mom either. She'll be so disappointed in me. I just can't concentrate on anything else because of what I have done. I have become a bad boy. No, Ravi, you're not a bad boy. You're already repenting for your actions. And this proves that you're a good boy and that you know the difference between right and wrong. Anyway, what are you going to do now? I don't know, Dad. I just can't forgive myself. What should I do? Come, I'll tell you. Remember, if you're headed down the wrong road, mm. you can always make a U-turn. I suggest you go and confess to your teacher and ask for forgiveness. No, Dad. She'll be very angry. And then what will she think of me? But if you don't do that, you're going to feel miserable. And when you get your history paper with those terrific marks in it, you're going to feel all the worse. Your reputation will take a fall, my son. But then that's the price you'll have to pay. If you show true repentance, my son, I'm sure you'll be able to recover your good name once again. I think you're right, Dad. I think that's the right thing to do. Well, no pain, no gain. Hey, Dad. I just forgot to say you one thing. What's that, Ravi? I love you, Dad. Oh, I love you too, my son. 70 out of 100. And the child with the highest marks is Ravi. Wow, Ravi. 85 out of 100. Well done, Ravi. Mom. Mom, I don't deserve these marks. I cheated. What? I'm sorry, Mom. We'll talk about this after the class, Ravi. Yeah. Patsy, 80. 
Sanjana, 75. Tanya. Yes, Ravi. Really, ma'am. I'm very ashamed of what I have done. I'm glad you've realized your mistake, Ravi. And I'm impressed with your honesty. There will be many times in life when you can cheat and be successful. Mm -hmm. But will that make you happy? No, ma'am. Remember, honesty is always the best policy. Yes, ma'am. It won't happen again. Yes, but I can't let you go scot-free, Ravi. I'll be deducting some marks from your final exam. Ma'am, mm. I'll try to do some good work and improve my grade. 